Look at this! This is a free S-Class Sentinel ship. Look at how cool that thing is. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to get a free Sentinel ship that is an S-Class ship. It is totally awesome. Very, very quick. You guys want this ship. But first things first, make sure, number one, you guys know where a portal is and you have all the glyphs. We always recommend to get, have all the glyphs because you never know which ones you're going to need. So if you don't know how to do that, link up top and down below in the description to a video to help you out there. Second thing is, you know I'm over on the NMS, you know, NMS coordinates exchange over on Reddit. That is where I find all of my ships. It is a really, really awesome utility to use to find anything cool. And specifically, this post comes from Rayanch101. So Rayanch... He's the one who found it. All credit goes to him. I'm just showing you how to get there. So let's get into the glyphs for the system. This is going to be in Euclid. That is the starting galaxy. So you need to be in this starting galaxy. Don't be in, uh, you know, Hilbert or Calypso. None of that stuff. Only make, make sure you're only in Euclid. That's where it's going to start. If you just started the game and you haven't traveled to another galaxy, you're good to go. Don't worry about it. You're in Euclid from the beginning of the game. So here, let's get into the glyphs. So that's gonna be a weird face, the bird, the ship, the uh, tree, the sunrise, the dragonfly, the triforce, the uh, tree, a tree again, a sunrise, sunrise again, and the last one. So either take a screenshot, pause the video, whatever you need to do, but the last one is gonna be the Triforce. So there you go, those are the glyphs you need. Again, remember, it's in Euclid, and as always, when you're ship hunting, number one, make sure you're in the right galaxy. Number two, turn off your multiplayer. So go to your uh, pause menu, go to your options, in the network settings right here, make sure you have multiplayer disabled and can join my group. Make sure it's invite only. Just by clicking on it, you can change it. Make sure you have those disabled because if anyone happens to join your game or if you're in multiplayer, anybody can take it right from under your nose. So if you show up 30 seconds later, they can just swoop in, grab the ship, and you're done. You won't be able to get it for at least a week. So... If you see an empty, uh, like an empty pad where it was, that is probably what happened. If you had multiplayer turned on before you went through this portal, make sure you turn it off before you go through that portal. All right? Needs to be off. Now, the other thing is you can only have 12 ships. So if you're at the limit, like right now I have, we have the one right here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have enough room. If you have 12, you cannot pick it up. You're going to have to change out your ship. So make sure to go through your list and, you know, you know, find one that you don't want to uh, keep anymore. Like if you want, you want to trade out and use that one. I'm going to trade out. Uh, maybe, you know, I'm going to keep it because I like my purple fire. But if you're at 12, you're going to have to trade your ship. So we're going to go to a specific location for this one. We are looking for plus 42.48 and plus 8.30. The way to find that out is go into first person mode when you're in your ship. Let's go into first person right there. Now, it's always going to be on the left hand side. It might look different depending on your ship, you know, interior. However, you're looking for the screen that'll say Bambi Delta and it'll give you some numbers. Right now I'm at negative six or negative 0 0.58 and then plus 133.49 so we're trying to get to plus 42.84 and plus 8.30 luckily there is a communication station these things right here there's one at that location so i would always recommend follow these and you might get lucky and you'll run into the one that's at that location so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully, this is the one we're looking for. But we'll be able to kind of look at our coordinates when we get close enough, and it'll show us. And we're looking for plus 42. And there it is. Yep, that is the one. 
So it looks like this is gonna be the one. Very, very lucky we, we got it on the first try. Always, always check your coordinates when you're doing this because you never know. There's gonna be more than one crashed ship, so you might run into a different one that's not an S-Class. This is gonna be an S-Class ship. So, with all the Sentinel ships, you're gonna have to repair the brain in this ship. So you're gonna need to take it out. Look at this beautiful thing. Very, very awesome. Beautiful, beautiful ship. But we're gonna need to take out the brain. And you can tell it's an, an S-Class because right up here next to the name, it'll tell you whatever class it is. This is an S-Class. That's how you know. So there we go. We're going to have to fix the brain in this. So you need to take all this junk out and then take the brain. This is the most important part, the Highline brain. Take that out. We're going to need to scan it and soothe the brain. So let's soothe it real fast. Oh, wait, it won't let me do that because I already have one. I already have a soothe the brain in the... In my inventory, if you need to know how to do that, link below in the description to a video on how to soothe the brain. So let's pop in here, and I'm going to show you this amazing ship. Look at this! This is a free S-Class Sentinel ship. Look at how cool that thing is. This thing looks really BA. Look at that thing. It looks really, really awesome. And the supercharged slots are all... Look at that. Three of them are right next to each other. This thing will do a ton of damage. So we are going to claim that. Again, if you have the maximum number of ships, if you have 12, you're only going to be able to swap it. I have room so I can get, I can claim it as an additional ship. So now let's get in here. We're going to see the inside of the cockpit. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is really, really awesome. Very, very cool. But the better part is when you see the outside when it when the wings change. Look at this thing. This thing looks really cool. It's like an X-wing. Are you serious? This is an X-wing. Oh, this is good. This is good. I like this ship. All right. So, this is what it looks like. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. Let's get a good look at this thing. Let's get a good look at this and move the uh, sun over there. Beautiful. Look at this X-Wing Sentinel ship. I This is, might be my new favorite. It would only make it better if it was purple, like a really bright purple. That would make it better. But man, this thing looks really awesome. I love it. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one.